Holy Fermentation Creation, today's video, we're going to concentrate on GHI. G for gotta, H for have, I for it. Gotta have it. Short form, GHI. Really great gene. I don't have it enough. I wish I had a lot more. I'm working on it, but I do have it in some key projects, which is great. Before we get into that, I want to give a huge shout out to Jean-Francois from Belgium, from Adopt the Balls. And he is good. Slacking. Slacking? Come on, Jean-Francois. Slacking just like me. So, so let's get into this. So, GHI, gotta have it. Now it is a darker morph. And this one here is a GHI Hepide male. So he'll be breeding uh, next year for me or later this year. But with the GHI, it's a lot of darker, has a lot of, uh, I guess, what would you say, coppers? What color would you use? The like tone. A, it's like a bronze, it's like a bronze copper sort of highlight to it. Um, and I'll show you, they vary quite a bit, but a lot of the GHI, the alien heads or saddles or whatever you want to call them, I wouldn't say saddles, but alien heads, they sort of tend to be really thin and, and they go over the dorsal and connect. And I'll show you with a few others what I mean. This one here has quite a few, but really awesome gene there is a super form where we, we will show you as well and that's about a eight month old i'm going to show you an adult here's an adult ghi het clown and i've got a few locks this here is a lesser spot nose clown, male. He's in going into shed. As you can see, his color's really light and his eyes are opaque. But I'm just gonna pull him off. He's not close to her yet, but if you see her, really awesome looking even as an adult. Holds quite a bit of the color. Got a lot of these, the, the alien heads. I've seen some people get confused with thinking they have hurricane, hurricane or, either GHI. or blitz or anything like that. All this weird pattern right here that you see in hurricane is very normal in a GHI. So that's what an adult looks like. Might as well show the super right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well that way I can concentrate on this. So this is a pastel super GHI, one of my favorites. Look at that. I don't have just the super GHI to show you at the comparison, but this is a pastel super GHI. Just nuts. The colors, look at that head. A lot of the banding, you can see the GHI sort of the same sort of looks and that sort of marking inside the alien heads but just an amazing amazing looking I definitely want to get more I'm just putting it into my key projects first one of them is lavender so I'm going to show you these two this here This is a pastel GHI, het lavender male. And you see here especially a, a lot, you see the banding, how they're, they're connected over. Still have those, um, I guess we call them keyholes, really tight. But they definitely go over and connect to each other. You see a lot of that in the GHI. So I'm trying to get him to a few females. This is the super pastel version, which is amazing. Super pastel definitely works well with GHI. As you can tell from the super GHI, the pastel works with that. And then here's a super pastel GHI. So adding one more pastel to this gets you this. 
This is a Super Pastel GHI, Het Lavender Female. Once again, the typical keyholes, the banding over, the alien heads are really more thinner, like linear, but just, just amazing. Pastel definitely works. Looks like a tiger stripe. Pastel is one of those jeans that definitely complement GHI, especially the Super Pastel version. I got a lot more stuff that I want to create with the GHI and put into some other stuff, like my freeway projects and the clown. Um, so, this one here. This is GHI Yellow Belly. Of course, he's in, sh in shed. I can tell that because the, the belly's sort of going pink. The eyes are opaque, which means they're sort of clouded over, light tinge of gray. And this animal is sort of, it doesn't have that the deep color, it's sort of glazed over. So that's why I know just by looking at it quickly, plus those other two signs that sh she is in shed. So GHI yellow belly, you can see the pattern and the speckling on the belly and on the sides. Really sort of cleaned up the pattern. This here is a little bit more deeper and darker in color when not in shed. Okay, next. Pastel again in GHI as well as Hypo or Ghost. So this is a Pastel GHI Ghost or Hypo. Really awesome looking. Really the, the contrast in the animal by looking at it, I don't know if the camera picks it up, it, it's dark and light and it got this nice haze. The typical keyholes that are really blended together. GHI also tends to have a lot of uh, the speckling. Granite. The granity, granity yep. Yeah. This is a, a male that we're trying to get breeding right now. He's producing sperm plugs. I got him in with a couple ladies. Hasn't uh, done the deed, or has he? Have we got a lock on it? Yep. Oh, we have, sick. So really nice. Pastel GHI Ghost or Hypo. And what's good about that, if you take the pastel away and add a simple gene, gene like lesser, psh, here we go. Stunning, stunning, stunning. This female, this is a GHI lesser Ghost or GHI lesser Hypo. Amazing. Like this, the colors, look at the belly on this. Not the belly, sorry, the sides. Look at the blushing. How it goes from light to dark. It's almost like a pink, lavender, salmon mix color. And then the typical lines, patterns going over each other. But it's really cool with this, how the dorsal is sort of a whole different color. So the saddle, or the, uh, I always call them saddles, the, the alien head goes up connects to a the bright pattern on the dorsal and then connects down and continues on the other side. But just an incredible animal. And plus with GHIs, you also notice this part on the neck. It always tends to have that little weird little design, sort of stripe at the top and throughout in, pat in bits and pattern. But this girl here is amazing. I hope she breeds for me this year, later. She's been a little bit of a, of a picky eater. Of course, now that I wanted to breed, she's often on food. So hopefully she continues to eat and, and I'll start pairing her. But just incredible. Doesn't want to let go.
Now this one here. This is a pastel GHI clown mail. So here, some of the keyholes, not so much. But a little different than uh, a normal pastel clown. I got him breeding to a few animals this year. So hopefully make some combo GHI stuff that's 100% Heck Clown. I might even have a couple of uh, visual clowns uh, with him. I also know that here uh, I'm trying to shoot for lesser spot nose GHI clowns and combos there. So I'm excited to get more pattern and stuff and GHI into my clown combos. Now this one here, this one here is a pastel butter banana GHI. It's lesser. Lesser. Okay, so banana lesser pastel GHI. So GHI with, with some, it doesn't tech necessarily have the same sort of... Uh, look as the regular GHI? What, what would cause that? The banana, you think, or the lesser? It's the pastel. The pastel. Just Combination this. of everything. It's also Het Ghost. Green Ghost. Oh, Het Green Ghost. Yes. Awesome. It's always good to know when you have extra stuff in there. Yeah, you really see some of the, the keyholes and the granity stuff. But it's nice and clean. It's also possible yellow belly. Is it? Yes. Wow. That's good to know. And last but not least, one of my favorites, hands down, insane, <laughs> even growing at this, thing's nuts. Put your sunglasses on, guys. This here is a banana Enchi GHI Special, 50% Het Monsoon. This girl just keeps getting better and better. Uh, uh, I just, I, I can't say enough about her. Her color is so intense. The oranges, there's almost like reds and, and like toffee and, and caramel and just all these different colors. And you see how the banding here goes really well. But this girl here is definitely one of my favorites. It's just stunning. Probably my best example of, of GHI with color. That Pastel Super GHI is stunning also. But this one here is just the colors. There's nothing really out there that show off this kind of color and contrast and the pattern. Um, just amazing. And if she proves out to be Het Monsoon, oh my, 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 just nuts. But this one here is just probably one of my personal favorites. She's a 2018. She may, um, I may get her into breeding later, a little later this season, if not next year for sure. But just definitely one of my favorites. Definitely not disappointing. Uh, watching her grow keeps getting better and better and uh, that's uh, I'll be super happy seeing her on eggs in six months to a year that'll be like wow uh, don't know what I'm gonna pair to her yet but definitely something monsoon um, or hep monsoon I don't have a visual mail yet but I'm hoping to hit one this year so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to uh, take a look and, and uh, on uh, Instagram and Facebook uh, Jean-Francois, adopt the ball. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, keep the comments coming in, and see you next video.